Let's take a look at the new head rendering options in Lightweight 2015. We're going to use uh, this Starship object you can find in the content. So let's send the object to Layout and from the camera view, let's move the camera in a different position so we get a better shot like this one and let's turn on VPR. As you may notice I already applied the supercell shader to all the surfaces and next let's change the backdrop color to yeah to this color here. Now I can rotate the light and of course see the result in real time. So let's take a look at the edges options you can find in the object panel. Pressing P with the object selected will open the object properties panel. Here we can find the edges uh, tab giving us access to all the edges rendering options. It is very important to notice how edges uh, render is affected by the subdivision level of the object if we are working uh, with the sub patch object of course. So I'm going to increase the subdivision level to 6 and they are also affected by the smoothing, the smooth threshold in this case uh, that we can of course set in the surface editor. So let's start playing with the edges. In Lightweight 2015 we have two new options for edges, patch borders and intersection edges. Subdivision patch borders can now be made visible in the render. This is perfect for modelers who wish to showcase their mesh topology combined with the beauty of the full rendering. Intersection edges can make uh, intersection between objects uh, visible as edges. So for example, let's go in perspective, we have this object intersecting this other object and of course this is the the intersection, we can see the same here with the wing intersecting the engine. Back in camera mode, let's activate silhouette edges, sharp creases and surface borders. I'm going to increase the thickness in pixels of the edges and let's activate nodes and Let's open the node editor for the edges. Using the node editor we can control any attributes about the edges. Uh, for example the, the taper, the color, the opacity, all can be controlled via nodes. So let's add a turbulence texture and let's connect the alpha output to the taper inputs of the edges we are using at the moment. So silhouette so sharp creases, surface borders and finally intersection edges. To better see the effect of the turbulence uh, texture we need to change its scale. So let's set it to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So now we can see how the edges are not uniform anymore. They look very natural and hand-drawn. Now let's say we want to add some kind of symbol on on this wing. Of course we could uh, texture it but we could use intersection edges as well. So back in Modeler we can go to Layer 2, set Layer 1 in background and then start modeling uh, logo three-dimensional logo. So we create a triangle, use the bevel tool, then use the cut tool. Select these two polygons, delete them and use the extrude tool and center the object. So let's move back to layout and of course now we can see the new object there. We can select it and move it 
close to the wing. Once we're happy with the object position, we need to make it invisible to the render. To do that, we can open the object panel and from the render tab, we can set unseen by camera and turn off all the shadow options. We can also increase the intersecting edge thickness, in this case setting it to 8, and move the object in the position we want. In this case, uh, it is better to turn off VPR so we can clearly see the two solids intersecting. Of course, it is very important to parent the, the object to the Starship object. So, if we rotate the Starship, the object follows. We can select the object uh, and clone it. And why not move it to some other location? Let's go in text shaded wireframe mode. And for example, let's move it here. So it's now intersecting the front part of the Starship. With VPR on, we can see what we've created here. It's a kind of stencil, and as you can see, it's very easy to do this kind of stuff using the new edges in Lightweight 2015. We can also use instancing to create some random paneling on the Starship. In this case, I've used a simple box cloned multiple times on the Starship surface using the surface instancing. Lightweight 2015 really lets you be creative and that's the whole sense of it. Just have fun.